Hi, I'm Ken Griffin. I am running for governor of Texas here in 2010. I'm going to admit a few things um, because I want to talk more here. Uh, maybe you've seen some other videos so you can get some ideas as to why it's important for you to listen to me now. Today, right now, I want to talk to you about slavery. Slavery. A number of years ago, I read an article and the article said that you were a slave. And you know, there was something in me that resonated about that. <coughs> so I read it and I looked at it. And so today, right now, I'm here to tell you that you are a slave. And, and I'm, I'm not speaking metaphorically or any, in any other way other than accurately. You're a slave. What do we hear from our government? Oh, this is America, land of the free, home of the brave. Well, I don't know about you, but you know, I think I know what the word free means. And I don't think I can think of anything free. You know, I mean, you know here in Texas, we even get taxed for rainwater that falls on our property. You know that? I don't think that's free. You know, I, I can think of a tax on cigarette, on gasoline, on taxing me to drive, on taxing my car, you know, on taxing on the streets, tax on gasoline, tax on anything I want to buy. I don't know. I'm not too sure here what's free, you know, and, and I'm a little bit bothered by that because let me ask, let me ask you a real tough, tough question and I want you to answer this and I want you to ask this of your friends too. Do you believe that the government's right to tax us should be limited? or unlimited? Should the government be allowed to take as much money from us as they want? Let me tell you my opinion. I think it should be limited. You know? And if you think it should be limited, now tell me the percentage. Because you know what? With the taxes that we have in the world today, and remember, what are taxes? Those are surcharges, fees, permits, excise. There's a lot of names for taxes. Call anything you want. It's a tax. Okay? Even inflation is a tax. right? Um, but but my feeling is this, I, I think the amount should be limited. And I think that um, you could say to me, hey, Griffin, uh, I want 25% of all the money you make. And I'm going to say, whoopee, okay, I'll give you that. I'd love to do 25%. But no more building permits, okay, no more tickets for speeding, okay, no more fees, no more sales tax, no more gasoline tax. I'll give you 25% and that's it, nothing else. But the beauty about our taxing system is today there's so many of them. There's tax on water. Look at your cell phone bill lately. Oh man, there's more tax on that than there is bill. You know, there's there's tax on water, tax on gas, tax on food, tax. There's tax on everything. I don't want to pay any of those taxes. You know, I want to pay 25 percent for everything, and we're done with it. How's that? Is that fair? Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. I like that. But the government would never do that, okay? Because when somebody complains about a tax and they reduce it or eliminate it, five more come up over there. You know. We don't control this. We want to control this. So my subject today here is slavery. Are you a slave? You know, I think so. You know, how many times have we heard during the um, during the war that, uh, in colonial America that the South had slaves and the poor black people and all this? You know, quite frankly, I, I think I'm here to say to you, the lucky black people, because you know, were they slaves? Were they taken advantage of? Hey, they had housing, they had food, they had clothing. They had a job. They had camaraderie. You know, I bet you, if you think about it, that in many ways, these people could have been better off than ourselves. Now, that, that sounds, I don't know what the word is. I'm not a linguist. Um, but it, it sounds like I'm being an idiot or something, you know. I'm being very serious to you, okay. You know, um, uh, a long, long time ago, in the Roman Senate, uh, there was a senator who stood up and he said, hey, there's too many slaves everywhere, they're everywhere, and it's getting harder and harder to tell them from the free people, from the free men. So what we need to do, my fellow senators, is we need to mark the slaves. We need to put an armband on them so we can tell who the slaves are. And another senator stood up and said, hey, uh-uh, can't do that. Can't, we can never, ever, ever do that. And a couple of people said, why not? And the smarter senator said, well, because if we mark the slaves, they'll know how many of them that there are. And they'll see each other. And they'll understand how few we are. And tomorrow there'll be a revolution and we'll be gone. That's what they said. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, you, you are a slave. That's who you are. And you know what the, you know what the absolute best slave in the world is? You know what the best one is? It's the slave that doesn't know he's a slave. And that's you and I. You know? How many taxes do we pay? How much was the tax on the water bill? 
How much is it on the phone bill? How much is it on the electric bill? How much is it to get your car registered? How much is it for your income tax, for your property tax? You know, for the tax on that old used tire that you had to take off your car, for the tax on the battery that you put in, for the tax on the liquor, and we can go on and on and on and on. What's free about that? Why do we need all this money? Where's all this money going? You know, we don't need all of these things. You know, let me remind you about this. According to the Constitution of the United States, there are, there are two and only two legal taxes. Those taxes are direct taxes and indirect taxes. And just as a little reminder, when I say to you that we're going to eliminate the federal income tax system, and you might say to me, oh, how can we do that? We can never do that. Let me remind you of something. The federal income tax system came in in 1913? 1913. So it's been around here, it's been in the United States for less than 100 years, and we're over 200 years old. For the majority of the life of this country, we never had a federal income tax system, and we did great. Okay, so why do we need this federal income tax system? If you're one of the Ron Paul supporters, and I hope I don't put anybody off or say anything bad, but you know, Ron Paul has said that if we reduce spending just to the year 2000 levels, we don't need federal income tax anymore. I believe that he's also said we pull all the troops out of Iraq and we don't need federal income tax anymore. You know, if we stopped paying the bill or the interest on the, on the unconscionable and illegal uh, uh, deficit, uh, the interest on the, on the Federal Reserve, we don't need income tax anymore. Come on, can you imagine this? I have to, I, I've got to be honest with you. And, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because uh, periodically I ask young people, you know, 25 year old, something like that, what they think about things. And I said to this young girl not too long ago, if, if, if there were a governor of your state and, you could, and he could eliminate federal income taxes, would you be for that? Would you support that? And she says, well, you know, and, and I commend her so highly for this. She said, you know, that sounds great and I'd like to do that, but if that, if that damaged our country from a financial aspect, I don't want to do it. I thought, wow, how wonderful. Okay? I'm here to tell you that the elimination of the federal income tax system doesn't damage our country. I'm also here to tell you, most importantly, that you're a slave. And I don't care whether you like that or not. That's a fact of the matter. Okay? How much of your money do you get to keep? You're a slave. Do you want to change that? We have an opportunity to change that. Can't fight City Hall? You and I can become City Hall. I can become governor with your help. And I will change these things. And we'll start it in Texas. And then we'll go to California, Wyoming, New York, Massachusetts. We'll go everywhere. And we'll stop this thing. Okay? But whether we do or whether we don't depends on your help. I can't do this alone. I need your help. And you know how you can help best. Give me a call. Go to my website, www.texasgovernor2010.com. I really need your help. I really love to come and talk to you. Let's see what we can do together. Right? I'm Ken Griffin. Thanks.